Hello! This video is an introduction to MLA style for students at UW-Superior. MLA stands for the Modern Language Association, which is the largest professional organization for scholars of language and literature in the United States. The MLA regularly releases new editions of the MLA Handbook, which is in its ninth edition and contains guidelines for citation and writing. You can find the print manual in the Jim Dan Hill Library at the front desk. First, let's take a look at how a paper should be formatted in MLA style. In the top left-hand corner of the first page, you can see the student's name, the course instructor's name, the title of the course, and the date the paper was submitted. Note that this information is flush with the one-inch left margin. Below is the paper's title, Centered. Each page has a header in the top right-hand corner called a running head that contains the page number and the student's name. Double line spacing is used throughout the paper. Scrolling through, you can see in-text citations in parentheses that typically include the author's last name and the page number where the information was found within the source. Notice the use of a block quote on this page. In this case, when the author has already been mentioned in the sentence, you will just need to include the page number in parentheses at the end of the sentence. To see more examples of in-text citations, please refer to Section 6 of the MLA Handbook. As we scroll to the end of the paper, you will see a bibliography labeled Works Cited, with all citations used listed in alphabetical order by author's last name or by organization's name. Notice how this list starts on a completely new page. The first line of each citation is flush with the margin, but each subsequent line has a hanging indent. To use a hanging indent in Microsoft Word, let's start with a version of this Works Cited page that has normal one-inch margins. Highlight your entire reference list. Then find the paragraph settings. On a PC, you will see this option in the toolbar and you can click the arrow to open the menu. Then under indentation, click the drop-down menu below special and choose hanging. Finally, click OK. On a Mac, click format and paragraph to find the same paragraph settings. Using the online version of Word, in the home menu, click the three dots at the end of the toolbar and select Paragraph Options to find these settings. When writing full citations for your Works Cited page, the best place to refer to is the MLA Handbook, which is located at the front desk of the library. If you would like to use an online guide to MLA style, you can visit the Excelsior Online Writing Lab, or OWL, at owl.excelsior.edu. This website is sponsored by Excelsior University and provides writing and citing guides for college students. To access the MLA style guide, use the Writing Lab menu on the left-hand side of the page. Click the plus sign next to Citation and Documentation to open the menu, and then click MLA style. Here, you will find guides for writing in-text citations and full works cited citations. Remember, you do not need to memorize MLA style, so be sure to bookmark this page in your web browser. When writing a full citation, you will first need to determine what type of source it is. If you are not sure, you can always consult a librarian for assistance. Once you have determined this information, you can check a citation example on Excelsior OWL's website. If you do not see the correct example here, be sure to consult the print manual in the library. One source you will be citing often in your papers is a journal article. This will most often be an article from an online library database. Looking at this example of a journal article citation, notice how the author is listed with their last name first, followed by a comma, and their first name. Then comes the title of the article in quotation marks, followed by a period. Next, we have the title of the journal in italics, followed by the journal's volume number, the issue number, the year including the season if known, and the page range, where PP stands for per pages. Finally, we have the name of the database where you found the article and a URL at the end. This link is a stable link or a permalink that will always get you and your reader back to the article in the database. 
do not include the URL at the very top of the database. This will not get you back to the article. Here is where you can find a permalink in the catalog and in EBSCOhost databases. If you have any questions or if you need assistance with your research or citing an MLA style, please contact a librarian. We are available by appointment through the Ask a Librarian page and by email at askref at uwsuper.edu.